Welcome to Unscripted Gaming. My name is Ray. My name is Mike. My name is Josh. Josh is not wearing a shirt. There, is his tradition. everybody knows. Yeah. I and, was wearing uh, a shirt literally 10 seconds before this podcast started. Then Ray said something. And I made the mistake of no calling more. out the fact that he was wearing a shirt. And he adjusted the situation and attacked it. it it's not a situation that needed addressing, but here we are. This here is here we are. This is the dimension that we're living in. <clears throat> you know, I don't think you can talk about video games with a shirt on, though. I, I don't think it's possible. This is some neck beer talk. We're dangerously close to getting Physically. into. <laughs> are Physically. We to, are, next is Cheeto Dust must be on your mouse and <laughs> controllers before you are considered a true gamer. Oh, you're As not? Say, I mean, I, I literally buy specialty Cheeto Dust because I don't eat Cheetos, so I can literally sprinkle it on my stuff so I can be a, a gamer. That that Wait, wait, that reminds me. Mike, what was the name of that drink? That you brought up that I seriously want to try. That was the new gamer fuel. What was it called? Oh, that was that was me. Um, oh man, what, what was that called? It was bad. Uh, the marketing is it the is it the tub with the at TSA that you pour all your liquids into? <laughs> I think so, actually. <laughs> the oh ultimate drink. <laughs> uh, it was liquid luck, GG. Oh yeah, um, I. <laughs> Fudge. I try it. I, 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 I mean, Here, can you buy can it I, off of Amazon? I, I don't. It was on. It was an ad I saw on Instagram, and I'll I'll send the screenshots to Ray so he can crop them and put them like on a thumbnail or something like that. But Absolutely. they have they have quotes from gamers, uh, in quotes, air, quote unquote. I never tried oh. Liquid Luck, Max Rag, Apex Leg Legends, three whole wins. I just drink water four eight hours a week. Trit streamer thirteen followers. I drink energy drinks when I play. Rage Lord, 23% accuracy. So that's the kind of marketing that they would put behind Liquid Luck GG. So, Did anyone uh, else, like, physically cringe, or was that me? Oh, no, I, yeah, it was. No, oh, yeah, I, no. I was like, no, we should cancel all games. Like, <laughs> can't shut the podcast down. Finally. Get rid of them. Someone, finally, someone <laughs> agrees with me. It was bad. It was, video it, games are canceled. Yeah, like, I knew video games were bad, but, like, this is bad. Games are fine, but the culture that we have created for ourselves around games, we're not doing ourselves any favors it's great. sometimes. Something. Basically, it's just, you look, if you want to see video games encapsulated in 2019, you look at what the stage builder, and what people have done with the stage builder in Smash Brothers already. What an excellent segue. So, There's a Smash update today. There you is a Smash update Joker. Today. I haven't done it yet. But I did I, buy. I, I have. The, you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did have. you get the fighter pass or did you just get? the Yeah, uh, I've Joker? got the fighter pass. Um, so a little question. Joker. A question. Yes. Okay. First yeah, off, before we kind of start talking about Joker, is he only available if you have the fighter pass, or if you don't, can you still somehow unlock the him? Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it's just the fighter pass. Okay. It's no, either no, it's, fighter pass or like individual purchase, but I don't think you can unlock them in game otherwise. Yeah, you're correct. It, it's either the fighter pass for 27 bucks, which gets you five guaranteed characters when they come out, or you buy them individually for six bucks each. And stages okay. too, but and yeah, stages yeah, and, and the music stages. and stuff. Yeah, the, you know. and yeah, like everything that comes costumes. with them. Yeah, the accoutrement. Um. Before we get into like how Joker plays, because I know you got some experience on them, I assume now, Mike. Not much, but sure. Uh, I want to get into like maybe what Josh was kind of alluding to. Um, I'm not all the way cool with like buying fighters in the fighting game. Have we talked about that before? I think uh, we've mentioned it here and there maybe. a little bit during like some Street Fighter the, and what and the Dragon Ball stuff. Dragon Ball mostly. stuff, yeah. yeah. Because I think I talked about how, like, there were just... Kid Goku. There were characters <laughs> I was never going to experience because I just don't play fighters enough to justify adding any more cost to it. So I think we have okay. talked about that a little bit. Okay, we did address it. Now, I think Smash gets a pass, and I know that's unfair to say, but hear me out. Because right out the gate, you get, and I quote, 74 characters stock. Uh, can, I, can I make a quick correction? Sure. Right out the gate, if you grind for, like, two hours or play the game for, like, 60. Okay. You're right. I'm going to correct you. It's 30, but you're, you, you make a very valid point 
Okay, I shouldn't say right out the gate. You're right. My my apologies. That is a very valid mistake. But on the cartridge, you get seventy on characters. On the cartridge. On the cartridge, yeah, there's over seventy characters. That's mm -hmm. a lot of that's a lot of content all at once for your fifty bucks, fifty, sixty bucks, something 60. like that. Yeah. Sixty bucks. Um so you know, asking for like here's five more characters for an extra twenty eight bucks somewhere in the year. I don't know, I guess that's kinda fair for those that for those of us that really care. I don't know. It's yes, but also like if you think about that, I got seventy for sixty, and then I'm gonna get five more for twenty eight. Like if you're thinking strictly dollars and cents value, like you're like, mm -hmm. maybe that's a little hefty. Yeah, yeah. You could piecemeal them for so you can I don't know trick yourself and like oh this character was only five bucks or six bucks or something like that. But yeah, you you bring up a valid point when you end up like calculating how much money you had spent over the course of time. So this actually appeared in the news today, and it's completely counter to what we had already going. Um, people have done the calculations for all the DLC in Dead or Alive 5, and it came to $1,297 versus <laughs> worth of characters, costumes, and add-ons. That's... And love to mortgage my house so I can get, like, <laughs> a different colored sword for... Ryu. Yes. Now, um, have they, and again, this is this is me not really having paid too much attention to all the other stuff besides the fact that, like, Smash was out. Have sure. they announced what the other characters that they're releasing after this one are, or are those still under lock and key? Uh, Master Chief. Um, uh, there's a bet going internally that it needs to be Master Chief, and I'm with everyone that says that. Steve from Minecraft. Uh, and like that, you lost me. Dante. <laughs> like, look me dead in the eyes and tell me that Bayonetta's in this game, but Dante is not going to make it in this game. Like, look me dead in the eyes and tell me that. I'm sorry, just... So, it, Dante's it, not going to make it in this game? You're a liar. Um, I think Knuckles has a better chance of making it into the what? game. What? That's for no one likes Knuckles though. They he like sucks. Kn Sonic needs more representation. I mean, okay. Let me clarify. All Sonic characters suck. Wow. As a baseline. And like that, Knuckles we've lost half of our sucks base. <laughs> relative to all the Sonic characters. Wow. How See, much I he think, sucks. I think we actually need Sonic Edge Lord. We need. We need Shadow, Shadow the with his gun. Just <laughs> yes. His side B special is just a gun. <laughs> no, see that's the best part about Joker is that his neutral B is gun, and then Kirby can absorb him, and then Kirby gets an anime boy haircut and ho is holding like a fucking nine millimeter. And he's wait, like, wait, are you are you messing with me game? right now? No, it's great. I. So much in love with Smash right now. I um, need Kirby with a gun. <laughs> Smash Brothers might be the yeah, game. So it it really is. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess like for the yeah. Yeah, tell me about Joker. Um, uh, Joker is. I mean, I I've never I haven't really played any of the Persona games, so I don't really care about him as a character. I know some people were pretty hyped that uh, were pretty hyped about the an announcement. Yeah. Uh, but not me personally. I like all the music they added. All the Persona music is very good. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, he's kind of, um, I mean, he's got, he's got like a counter. He's got, he's got, I mean, it's got a pretty typical, like, moves that are definitely kind of a tweaked versions of moves other characters have. Mm -hmm. He's got some kind of interesting mobility stuff he can do. Uh, but he's kind of a light to mid weight fighter. Um, and if he takes enough damage and, like, could charges up his meter, he summons, like, his persona, um, which lets him get extra range and launch on attack, so it's, like, you right. kind of rack up damage on people, and then you, lo like, then you go for the KO once, and, like, the big hits when your guy, when your dude's out, uh, oh, which is, which is kind of a neat mechanic that's, um, cool for him, so... Um. Yeah, I'm a. Uh, so Joker's pretty cool, but I uh, have I spent just a couple of brief moments in the stage builder that they added. Uh, just at a glance, like it's a lot more robust than anything that like the stage builder that they had in the Wii one. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, and 
So and it so there's some really cool stuff there. And people, let me tell you, have been making some stuff. Oh my goodness. The addition of a stage builder with touchscreen functionality, you have no idea what you've unleashed upon the world. Like Mr. Sakurai. Just I mean, it it's really just the full breadth of humanity because Because <laughs> there's like, oh look, here's a stage someone made. It's Kirby holding a knife. Oh, here's a stage someone made. It's called Mario Pissing. Here's a stage somebody made. It's the infamous webcomic Loss. Oh, what a no, stage. someone made Loss. Of course someone made Loss. Uh, then there's just someone uh, made... Uh, somebody made a... Uh, a... a uh, <laughs> a 9-11 uh, stage. Oh, 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 you showed um, that to us. That's right. That's somebody some... made a... Video games are canceled. <laughs> yeah. There, I saw a Tetris stage somebody made that was pretty good. Okay. I'm, like, people have just done some crazy stuff. Somebody, I'm, like, I'm literally going through the replies of this tweet to find some. Somebody made an Ant-Man going into Thanos' butt stage in Smash Brothers. Yeah, I, I, okay, like, I meant it. Games are canceled. The, the shit posting of Smash stage ability is is <laughs> we literally do n unlimited potential. <laughs> um, like, just truly, truly incredible. How um, long has the stage but like, been out that people have like already... Not even 20... Okay, like 24 <laughs> hours. 12 hours. Literally. Yeah, not even. Not even. It crashed the server, by the way. It crashed um, the eShop server. Somebody, somebody made a, a Hank Hill stage called Propane, where it's just a face of Hank Hill. Um, How? Uh, what? And, but then there's also, like, some actual... There's some legitimately impressive things people have already made. Like, deep cut... Do you guys remember the intro, like, um, desk from Smash Brothers 64? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, Somebody whoa. made that as a stage. Okay, that's now that's window. Yeah, that, that's window, the concept I signed like, up for. With the window, the desk, every like it's incredible. So that like, is really good. People have like I'm super stoked to see that. I think my favorite one I've seen is somebody made a stage version of the D V D menu <laughs> with like or the screensaver with the logo bouncing around. <laughs> and just to show you how much care and craft they put into it. It actually bounces perfectly into the corner. Mm, mm. See, the proper thing to do is it never does. It always gets close. Y you think no, it's gonna make it that time, but nope. <laughs> so I I I really need to dig into that stage builder more because people are doing some scary things with it, like scary impressive, and I can't wait to. I th I can't remember exactly how I don't think th I was trying to figure out like an easy way to browse and like save them. I think you do it on the phone app or like the Nintendo Switch app of some kind. I need to double check that, but honestly that seems like pretty easy enough to like just pair my account and browse and save them cuz then oh I could gosh, like Oh my gosh, Nintendo found do a way that. to convince you to get the phone app. Yeah, I mean cuz then well that's cool cuz then I could like browse and do that during the day tell my switch to download it and then have it ready by the time I'm home which is See, cool that, that's actually kind of practical yeah like that actually kind of is cool so I will want to look at that other than that I haven't really been playing anything else super new um, um, Sekiro is still real good question about the stage maker in Smash is that just a free update for everybody or is that also included in the fighter pack I think that's part of the. Um, I think that's part of the. That's a free update. Okay. Because uh, that's also where they made some balance changes. Yeah. Um. I mean, I think it's just the characters that are in the fight pass. Okay. okay roll and, God well, and stages. <laughs> on the nice. scale of a, uh, on the scale of Jigglypuff to uh, King K. Rool, where do you think Joker's fitting in the meta, Mike? Your eye in the uh, sky. Man, I guess I mean I'm not super up to date on like what the actual like top tier characters are. Um, uh, Wolf is S currently. Wolf it is very good. But he got the nerf that he needed with this patch. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> or the Gandorf nerf. Uh, 
Oh, that one scares me. I'm afraid to hop online with him right now. <laughs> I feel like he's probably... I mean, I don't really know. I, I've barely spent any time with him, but... Um, with Ganon or with Joker? I, well, I, I need to look at like a good tier list to see who, at, who where he kind of fits in. Yeah. I feel like it, I don't think he's like bottom tier. I think he's got some he's got some interesting things he can do. Uh and when you summon the persona, uh, I think he gets um he he can put in some serious launch. So All right. Um it might be kind of building up to that then. Yeah. Um, I, all right. So uh when I ask Josh, what you been playing, man? Um, let's see. I've been playing a little bit of Smash, right. and a uh, I've been playing a little more of Zelda: A Link Between Worlds. Got a got a little more into that. Uh, yeah. I've been trying, like I said on the last podcast, trying to play that a little more, just so it's not uh, a year between updates. So, um, <laughs> been been slowly progressing through that here and there. And again, I'm I'm really enjoying that game. Really like the way that uh, that world is revisited and, and reborn in this new system. The only thing I wish is, damn it, I wish I could change the movement from the control stick to the D-pad. Just like I wish the same thing in Metroid and probably any other game on the 3DS. Because that stick sucks. Nintendo was really bad about uh, letting anyone customize their control schema. And uh, one day they're going to have to change that mentality. Please. Yeah, please. please. My good news. Oh? Even after the nerf, Ganondorf is B tier. Woo! But, <laughs> but, King K. Rule is the fourth from the bottom of the list. I can't look at this. I, I can't look at this. King K. Rule was so. He, I mean, he was more of a pub stomper anyway. Like he, He's sharing shelf space with Little Mac. They, he, they did him wrong, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. Well, like, I honestly respect the dedication to keeping Little Mac as horrible as he is, <laughs> because I mean that's like the that's the punch out is that like Little Mac is not is like way worse than any opponent he fights, and he oh, beats damn. them through like wile and instinct and not like pure technical power. So it's just canon. The, <laughs> if if like like the real punch out is. Beating someone with a little Mac and Smash. <laughs> Josh, who's your who's your Smash main lately? Uh, still has been sticking with uh, Link a lot, but also been uh, which Link, if I may ask? Adult Link, regular right. Adult Link. Um, a little bit of Captain Falcon. Good, good man, good man. And uh, always respect play, the good Falcon. I did play K. Rule for the first time, and I really liked it. My man! <laughs> the back air spike is still the filthiest thing in the, on the planet. No, I it think, is, like... What? Well, How the, dare the, you? The sucking cuck is the filthiest thing, if you could do it to somebody. I mean, that's embarrassing, but, like, <laughs> the back air spike, when you, like, really land it, is just... You feel it! Mwah. Especially when the screen zooms in, and they see that that's been just done oh. to them. Oh. Just Ray, what you been playing? Um, since since of the, because of the news updates, I've been popping on Smash every now and again, and uh, reminding myself why I should not play King K. Rule. I still don't have a reason. He still just beats ass. Um, and lots of Dark Souls because Mike uh mentioned to me he was playing lots of Sekiro. So I decided, you know what, I never beat the first three Dark Souls. Let me go forth, and uh, I just got past Sin's Fortress. And Mike, who has beaten Dark Souls, uh, would not mm -hmm. tell me in advance what to expect. And uh, for any of you Dark Souls fans listening, uh, Sin's Fortress gave me my ass for a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It, it, it was a place. But so far... Uh, oh, and I'm taking a break from Apex Legends, because... Uh, uh, Get a problem. I have 200 hours logged into that game. Right, yeah. I think that I think the game's only been out for 205 hours, so. <laughs> <laughs> I do have 20, uh, 19 wins, champion victories. Probably not a lot. Probably just shows how bad I am. If after 200 hours, I only got 19 wins. Man, think but, if think if you had been drinking Liquid Luck GG the entire time, how many more wins you would have? I love that segue. 
Uh, I, you know, I would be... Oh, and I beat Ace Combat 7. I can, can't believe I forgot that. Uh, great game. Um, if you like Ace Combat. If you don't like Ace Combat, it's a bad game. It's not that it's bad, it's just limiting. You go up to F-22 Flight Tech Tree, and then you get to A-10 Warthog, and then you get to F-22 Raptor, and then you win the game. And... That's just that's just how it works. Kind of I mean, like in real life, honestly. First off, that's how every Ace Combat game has been since forever. Two, <laughs> that's exactly how it should be. So. <laughs> you got a ground mission? It's in Warthog. You got the air mission? The F-22, F-22 Raptor. Yep. And like I just said, yeah, that, that, that actually is how it works in real life, so I don't know why I'm like that surprised. Well, there seems to be a problem here. There's a ton of tanks on the ground. I got the plane for you. <laughs> We built uh, we built a plane around the gun, <laughs> and what a gun! Um, other than that, that's it, uh, guys. Guys, uh, this week, and by the mm-hmm. time I have this uploaded, it will be this week. There was a gigantic news dropped out of the uh, house of Sony this week. Show Sony Sony Clan, Sony Clan, Sony Clan announced uh, all of the specs. For the PlayStation Five, well, and so. they did it kind of randomly too. It was like, oh, it was out of nowhere. Here's just an article ab- about this. It was it was kind of like a like a preview article, just like, hey, here's the here's what's kind of coming down the pipe and what's in our developer kits that have been sent out and whatnot, and it's probably not coming this year. No, they said no. definitely not coming. Well, not this coming year. this year. Probably next year. Yes. Uh, what was it? Some official news that they said here. Um, but it sounds like so, it's, so many ums. it's it's based on you know it's it's based on the the Ryzen Zen two architecture of uh, which like the the chips uh, aren't like those chips aren't even out yet, so like they're using some pretty pretty modern and beefy stuff to boost the power of that console, which I you know I think. If anybody's saying anything about what they would like to see from this to the last, it's when the previous generation came. Well, the current generation came out. They were already kind of outpaced by uh, PCs by a significant yeah. amount. So they, you know, they they seemed underpowered for what what consumers were getting at the time. So to be committing to using this this current Ryzen architecture um, and something that's going to come out pretty quickly shows a, a commitment to at least making sure that the hardware is is in a good spot when it when it launches uh-huh. uh i guess um a question here so uh they said it's going to be backwards compatible with the ps4 so does as someone who's less familiar with like the technical stuff like did what you saw about the specs josh does it basically just look like a stronger ps4 in some ways, yes, because basically with the move to the x86 architecture in the way that designing games, you know, they've they've given themselves, and this has been happening a lot of places, a, a platform that is a lot easier to develop for, and basically, um, you know, we're kind of at a point if we keep using x86 for a long time, your consoles are just going to be more power on top of the previous gen, so it's going to mm-hmm. be easier to do things like... Um, emulating your old stuff because you're going to be developing in a pretty similar space in terms of the way your games are running. Um, so that, that kind of yes. Okay. I mean, honestly, like, I don't like. It, I bet if you surveyed PS4 owners about what they want a PS5 to be. It's probably just a stronger PS4 that's backwards compatible. Um, and it, the other one thing, the other thing that I want, I want to mention here, that was pretty interesting, was it, it sounds kind of like they're going to have a stock solid state drive, if I'm not mistaken, which is kind of interesting. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's gonna, honestly more than the CPU power, that's going to be one of the biggest boosts to Mm -hmm. the ps5 is this solid state drive and then the 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 specs that they're using for it you know they're using some newer um some you know newer newer transfer technology and basically you know that is going to be able to help cut down 
the load times so significantly just because the data is, is yeah. able to transfer um, so quickly from the device, you know, to to the processor. Um, and I imagine that um, I don't know how much of an impact this is really has at the end of the day, but being able to bank on every PS5 having a solid state drive at least in some capacity probably does probably I mean I think it's we you would there are things you would like approach just in terms of your your game design really differently cuz like sometimes it, it's kind of funny cuz like a lot of PlayStation 4 games are pretty notorious or not notorious but like like things like God of War, Uncharted, uh, are pretty um, spot on about like hi- how they hide their loads. Uh-huh. Like it's pretty obvious how they do it. And if every PS5 has a solid state drive, they just wouldn't re- like you would you wouldn't have to do those things and like and could really change. Th- like I wonder how much of a like. I think the potential for like how just a game gets built from the ground up could change in a really cool way if they if they know that everyone on that eco is like in that ecosystem is like has that hardware which I think could be really cool so um uh so yeah it's probably coming 2020 uh I'm going to what's our way too early price guess on this what did the uh, PS4 launch at? Was it 400? 400 bones. That's not, that's not a bad PS4. No, launch no, for. it was a simple, simple decision to buy it. Honestly, um, I'd honestly I think th- say it has to, it has to be in that, in that range. I don't mm-hmm. think it can go any higher than five. Yeah, I feel like it's, one. I feel like it's gonna be. I feel like my guess is 500, mostly just because like. I feel like solid state drives are great, but I also feel like after a certain point, like depending on how much storage you're gonna launch with this thing in the base version, it really like the the just the cost of like a large solid state drive that's get kind of goes nuts pretty quick. Well, the the nice thing about that is solid state drive prices have actually been coming down pretty significantly. Oh, um, yeah. like if you go and look on line on Amazon on Newegg and whatnot, you'll see solid state drives have come down pretty significantly in the last even just six months. So, um, you know, in terms of cost, if you, you know, if they're throwing one or two terabytes in there, they're not going to be, the investment isn't going to be that much higher than what it would have been, you know, back when they were just throwing a, an old oh. two and a half. Yeah. Inch. You're not kidding. Cause, uh, the 500 gig, uh, SSD is about the same price that I got my like 250 SSD when like I built my computer uh, in 2016. Yeah, so I just got that, a new build and huh. uh, my SSD yeah. for my new build it's okay. 500 gigs. It cost what about 80 bucks? It looks like yeah that that's yeah yeah so that's it was pretty like good bucks like or something like that. And we're paying kidding. retail pl- prices. Sony pays OEM yeah. prices. So yeah. You know that's oh. even better. Um, just some, yeah. Something to think about. Here's here's my one thing I want. Here's what I want from the PlayStation Five. I want full backwards compatibility, not just from PS4. Give me back all the way to the PlayStation, and then just call it the PlayStation. No, that's Microsoft levels yes. of marketing right there. I like it. That's awful. I think it, finally we can play Croc. Uh, Do it. Yes. Wow. Croc is back, finally. You, you can play Croc right now. Go play it on the PlayStation Network. No. <laughs> I refuse. I don't actually want to play Croc. Please don't make Croc, me play Croc. Croc, Legend of no. the Gobbos. Please, no, please don't make me do it. I was kidding. No. Like, can... <laughs> but I'm I'm sorry. Like, we got to we gotta get away from the numbering. Like, it's... No, that's the smartest thing. No, it's not. Which PlayStation are you playing? PlayStation 4. There is no confusion confusion when I say that. Which what Xbox comu- are you playing? Xbox Ray. One. What computer are you playing? Uh, the one I just built. Wait. No, that doesn't count for anything. Shut up, Mike. <laughs> oh, he's making the dumbest face right now. 
Just are you playing a computer two or three, Ray? What are oh, you playing? Stop! Stop! What are you playing, Ray? N Nintendo, Nintendo, and uh, PlayStation have it figured out. Nintendo just. I rest. Gets I rest my case. The names. numbers. The numbers are getting out of hand. No, they're not. They make the most sense. Get rid of them. No. Oh my gosh. It's just the PlayStation. No. Okay. What happens when the next PlayStation comes? What do you call it then? No. By just then call it the just, just, just call it the PlayStation Three again. Again, I I am still of the mind that just this go might be the last like. My brain is broken. Proper full <laughs> home console that we see, but you know, hey. What Man, you know? said that last generation. I did not say that last generation. You did. Go back in our podcast and listen. We've been doing this long enough. That I never did. said that the PlayStation 4 was the last home console you'd have. You, you, you said, you said we're going generation. digital next time. All digital. Speaking of all digital, actually, segue. Uh, Microsoft, who can't be outdone on the same day as the announcement of the PlayStation 5, announced the Xbox One. What, what is it? The Xbox One S All Digital Edition. All Digital Xbox Xbox One Sad. No one in their marketing caught that. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no one caught that. <laughs> because Xbox has no games. That's why they if took I, the if I wanted to because he didn't have any games anyway. So why do you need if a you want, If I wanted to up my 2010 meme game, um, <laughs> stop. I mean, I like the an all digital console sounds cool, but. I don't know. Discs are fun, and you can trade them back if you don't like things. And sometimes, if your internet is sad because you live in a rural area, then uh, you're in trouble. So I, I mean, cool, so I guess. I I get it. They they have a lot of Xbox One S shells and motherboards and components, and they're just you know they're doing a little bit of market research to pop something out there and see what t you know take the temperature because they're like we got them, you know. We want to kind of get rid of these bulky points of failure within our devices and that also cost us money because, you know, there are sales that are happening that we don't get a cut on. So, they're you know, they're, they're, they're taking the temperature. But I think if they were really serious about this, either they would have lowered the price to $200 or at $249, which the console is launching at, um, they would have included like a year of the Xbox One Gold and Game Pass, like, bundle, yeah. whatever that thing is. Like, they would have included a year of that with it and said, okay, here. Wait, it's 249 It's 249 Yeah, it's actually more expensive than the Xbox One S. I just went to Amazon just to double-check because someone tweeted that at me. I'm like, no, they didn't. And they're no, like, you oh, can get, oh, you, you can get, fools! You can get Xbox One S bundles for, like, 230 half the time. Mm. But like, like it does, it does come with it. It does come with three games. It comes with Sea of Thieves, uh, Minecraft, uh, uh, and Forza uh, okay. Three. Oh, Not four, what? Three. Why are they Man. wasting their time? Guys, I have a dark secret to tell you about. You pre-ordered one. I've kind of been thinking about getting back into Minecraft. I mean, that's that's fine. It's a that's all right. Game. Go play it. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Go. Oh, man, I can't remember it. There is, if you get a chance, Google, like, Minecraft ray tracing. Um, if you guys have not Are seen this. Are you serious? This, if you not have not seen this yet, they've done some faux ray tracing stuff in Minecraft, and it will blow your mind. Hey, Ray, when you're editing this video, add in Minecraft ray tracing video. <laughs> I'm just reminding myself for later. Yeah, no, it's, it's actually, like, oh. the environments are... Oh my! It's it's pretty stunning. Like, look at the oh. water. Look at the grass. Like, all right, I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of oh. dope. <laughs> Is that even Minecraft at this point? Oh, yeah. Oh, this looks really nice. <laughs> yeah, brief. I'm aside not crying. In, you're crying. Brief and aside like in, in Josh's hardware corner oh. for a second. Um, Nvidia has also allowed ray tracing in their non-ray tracing. GPUs in like the yeah, 1080 wait a and how, how does that work? Wait, that's illegal. Yeah, that is illegal. How does they that work? They basically just put a patch in that did some faux ray tracing stuff and and basically if you're okay with the performance hit on slightly slower graphics cards, you can still have, you know, shinier puddles at 10 frames a second, so All right, that, that's fair. That Great. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, so 
but yeah, the Xbox One sad. Um, I get what they're trying to do in the market, like market research, but I think they kind of bungled it a little bit. Because honestly, I think you either launch that thing at two hundred or you launch it at two fifty with a year's worth of gold and Game Pass. You might actually have a uh, an argument on your hands. Yeah, that would have been the kind of thing if they had done that. That I'd have been like. Eh, no, you launch that thing at one fifty, and you go so freaking aggressive because. No one's thinking about buying an Xbox One with Happy less Meal features. L- l- yeah, literally. Would you like to buy an Xbox One for the same price, but it does less than the cheaper one? No. What? N- get away from me right now. PlayStation's talking about a brand new thing that gives me everything I want. What do, what do you bring to the... What? Stop. Stop. It, they were better off doing nothing. I, I. Jeff Gershman brought up a good point on Giant Bomb. He said... What if they just have, like, literally a warehouse just full of Xbox Ones, and they're like, crap, how do we move these really quickly? And Well, that's and that's what I was saying. Like, they've got the inventory, so they're doing some market testing because they're just trying to see what what the what the pulse is for something without a disc. Because, honestly, if you look at teardowns of the Xbox One S All Digital Edition, it's literally got the connectors for the disc drive in it on the motherboard still because they're literally just using the exact same hardware just without interesting <laughs> the they disc just drive in it what if we took out the disc drive and charged more money <laughs> that's marketing Te- right <laughs> <laughs> less cuz the Xbox One S is supposed to retail for 300 it just never does <laughs> oh man oh man i love it I love no. You know what? Mic- do it. Do it, Microsoft. E- every time Microsoft releases a game a- anymore that I want to play, anyways, there's always the PC version of it, like the Windows for games or whatever they call it now version of it. They've. I've had an Xbox One for a year, guys, and I've played one game on it, and it was Halo Five, just because I like Halo, and it was a bad game. Well, I mean, with their Universal Windows apps and their, you know, Xbox Play Anywhere thing, like, I mean. Microsoft really doesn't care where you play their games just as long as you're playing their games. Like, that's why they're putting the Master Chief Collection out on PC here because Halo 6 or Halo Legends or whatever it's coming, Infinite, whatever the fuck it's called, whenever that comes out, it's coming out on Xbox and PC. Like, it's coming out while Windows 10. So, you know, they don't... You can't convince me otherwise not to play Halo Infinite on my PC. There's nothing anyone can say to me. To like say, but you have an Xbox One, and <laughs> it's Halo on my PC. Whatever that infinite version is going to be, please don't be a battle royale. P- pl- please, three for three. I'm I'm, I'm asking you nicely. It's just not a hundred Cortanas drop on to a Halo. Yeah, oh, it's not even Master Chief. It's Cortana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Anything else you guys were looking at to this week? No, I think that I about covers so. it. I got you my little. You both made the exact same face. I'm kind of, yeah, yeah, that, that. Yeah, no. I uh, I think that's gonna about do it for us. So uh, if you if you liked our ramblings here, make sure to subscribe to us on <laughs> YouTube at Unscripted Podcast. Get us on Apple, iTunes, whatever the God. I can't never remember what that crappy platform's called. Uh, but while you're at Apple iTunes? Un- uncertainly <laughs> named platform. Make sure to leave us a rating or a review, like Mike likes to say. Reviews uh, you can also- help us so much, please, dear God. That re- reviews do help a lot. Please, you, please leave us. You reviews. can, uh, you can get us at uh, anywhere else, there other podcatchers where you listen to. Uh, and if you want to kind of join the discussion about uh, what you think that the PlayStation Five should do or be named, or you know. What is Microsoft thinking with the sad? You know, hit us up on Facebook at Unscripted Gaming, uh, also at Twitter at Unscript underscore Gaming. But uh, thanks for listening, guys. For Unscripted Should Gaming, d- my name is Josh. My name uh, is Mike. I'm Ray. Peace. <laughs>